Watch this next one. Did Clint get it? You bet he did. almost got blown to bits in this, Gene. Boy, that's a swell shot. Why don't you watch the picture? Gee, Don, your brother sure takes chances, doesn't he? Yeah, but that's a newsreel business. Anything for a thrill. Here's one you'll like. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, I think she's kind of skinny. I mean, the babies. Oh. Well, there's nothing like combining pleasure with business. Well, that's all. Say, Don, has Cliff agreed to let you go to work instead of going to college? Well... No, not yet, but I think I've almost got him convinced. That's fine. Because I was afraid you were going to be lonesome. Lonesome? Mm-hmm. You see, I've changed my plans, too. I'm not going to college, either. What? No, if you can be a newsreel man, so can I. Now, there you go again, always wanting to do what I do. Well, what's wrong with that? After all, they have lady policemen and lady aviators and lady baseball cut players. Cut it, cut it. I'm way ahead of you. Look, what are you trying to do, kid me? Certainly not. Come here. See that? Yes, what about it? Well, go on, pick it up. What for? Well, you want to be a cameraman, don't you? Well, there's your camera. Go on, lift it. Oh, no. I'm going to get one of those little cameras, the kind you ordered, you know, about this size. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're all right, I guess, but... Well, you've got to learn to use one of the regular ones. Come on, lift it. It won't bite you. Did I break something? No. <laughs> kind of heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Go on, lift it up. Give up. Uh-uh. I'm hard to convince. Oh, I bet you got this thing nailed down. No, I haven't. Here, let me show you how to lift. See? Now you try it. Oh, it's easy now. I see. Hey, you better let me take that. It's pretty heavy for a little girl. I'm not a little girl. Leave me alone. Hey! Nice work. Your kids certainly pick expensive toys to play around with. Oh, the projection machine burning, too, huh? Come here. What'd you do that for? You told me to pick it up. Yeah, but I didn't tell you to drop it. Oh, you're always picking it up. Oh, away. keep quiet. Mallory residence. Cliff Mallory speaking. Hey, listen, you big baboon. Cut out the wisecracks. I've got inside information that Betty Kelly... You're not talking about THE Betty Kelly. You know darn well who I'm talking about. That's right. The $50 million heiress who has never been mugged. If you'll stop talking for a minute, I'll tell you. She's landing at the airport with the Earl of Warrington in 45 minutes. Okay, Chief, I'll get right out there. Give me a hand with this equipment, will you? Sure, Cliff. What's up? I have to rush out to the airport. Betty Kelly's flying in. Betty Kelly? Well, you're just going on a wild goose chase. She's never been photographed. Well, this is one time I break that jinx. See the pictures in your local theater. Local theater, nothing. I'm going with you. Me too. Okay, hold your hat. What for? What for what? What for I hold my hat? Oh, look! I don't think... Hey, wait for me! I am so. You're not. I can, can't I, Cliff? Can't you what? Be a newsreel cameraman like Don's going to be. Who said he was going to be a cameraman? He did. 
Lee's been wrong before. Oh, don't be that kind of a guy, Cliff. No use arguing. You're going to college. College, yeah, but that takes four years. Yeah, and maybe I... by that time you'll have sense enough to know the newsreel game is a tough grind. Yeah, well, you're in it. And doing pretty good, too. Well, that's just force of habit, that's all. Cliff, can I let go of my hat now? Sure, if the wind doesn't blow it off. Oh, it won't. Oh, it did! Hey, Don! <laughs> Give me that hat. Better step on it, Cliff. Right up, get here, come. Okay. All set. Let's go. Wait a minute. You stay there. Oh, can I go with you? No. Okay. I wonder if Mr. Collins was right. Well, she's on this plane, we're a cinch. Here comes the pilot. I'll get the dope from him. Give you a line. Is Betty Kelly with you this trip? Thanks, old man. Well, aren't you, uh... Oh, I beg your pardon. I thought you were somebody I knew. We had an awfully jolly trip, don't you think? Not too rough, not too smooth. In fact, it was perfect. I think airplanes are a wonderful invention, don't you? Good afternoon, Jarvis. Uh, what'd you say? Oh, good afternoon, Miss Kelly. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. Oh, that's all right, Jarvis. Hey, Cliff! 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 What? What do you want? Look! Look at it! Well, I don't think I'll need these things anymore, do you? No, I suppose not, but it was awfully clever of you. Well, I fooled the boys again. Grab those cases, kid. All right. Oh, did I? Hurry up, Jarvis. Let's go. Do me a favor. Oh, no, Cliff, it wasn't your fault. Go ahead, I deserve it. Thanks. Come on, not mine. It was my fault, too, you know. Oh, no, it wasn't. Thanks. My turn. <laughs> there you go again, always wanting to do something somebody else does. Go on, I can take it. Hold up this camera equipment, will you? I want to phone Collins the bad news. All right, Cliff. I'll be right back. Well, go ahead. Hello? Uh, how'd you make out? Uh, I didn't. Uh, here's what happened. I... What do you mean, you didn't? I'd break my neck digging up leads for you, and you haven't sense enough to take advantage of them. Why, you no good, no account excuse for a cameraman. All you're good for is to load film into a camera. Whew. Did you like the excitement? 
Yeah, but I'd have liked it more if Cliff had gotten those pictures. Yeah, it was a, it was a tough break, but I'll bet you Betty Kelly would never fool me. Listen, wise guy, if you're so smart, why didn't you recognize her in that get-up? Well, I was... I was... Uh... Will you wait till I get my camera? Oh, yeah? If you heard the bowling out I just got, you'd never want to see a camera again. Got everything? Yeah, all set. Let's go. Where to, Jean? I'll drop me at Mother's Coffee Shop. Yeah, me too. There you go again, always wanting to do what I do. <laughs> oh, is that so? <laughs> Onesies, twosies, threesies. Uh, you missed it. It's my turn. Go ahead. Onesies, twosies, threesies. Ha, I missed on the foursies. You was playing for threesies. No, no, I was playing for foursies. You was playing for threesies. Foursies. Threesies. Well, maybe I was playing for threesies. That cost you 50 bucks. I ain't been practicing for nothing. Oh, come on. How about a chance to get even? Okay by me. Nah, it spoils me nails. I just had a manicure. Ten bucks. Say, do you think these things are loaded? You'll find out. Sure. One's these. Hey, get a load of this. Betty Kelly arrives in town. Fifty million dollar heiress rumored engaged to an oil. Bird put it over. Fifty million bucks. Are we sitting pretty? I wonder if she's a good looker. A good looker? Boy! Well... Looker, what a jolly term. But uh, really, old things, she's more than that. She's beautiful. So you put it over. You bet your life I put it nice over. Nice work. I knew you'd oh, do it. Oh, that's well done. Uh, where's Betty? He's working as a butler on the Kelly estate. Everything's set then? Yep. Everything but one thing. What's that? I'm gonna need ten grand. Ten grand? For what? You mugs don't know what it costs to keep Betty Kelly happy. We've given you everything but the filling out of our teeth already. When I marry the lady, we'll all be sitting pretty. Just what do you mean by that? She's coming into her dough in six weeks. And she'll be glad to make a settlement of a couple of million to get rid of me. That's right, boys. Yeah, but how are we going to put the finger on ten grand? That's easy. You boys look around and uh, case something that's not too hot. Stake it out, then get in touch with me or Benny at the Kelly estate. And I'll front for you while you heist it. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. What's there to be scared about? Well, gosh, I'd be scared if I were going in for my first job. <laughs> yeah, but you're not going in, I am. Well, good luck, pal. Thanks. I'll need it. You keep your fingers crossed. I'm sick and tired of excuses, Mallory. I want film. You flopped on your last four assignments. This is your last chance. Now grab that camera of yours and hustle over to the Kelly estate. Did I get a special invitation? The only invitation you'll get is a chance to beat a charge of buckshot across the garden wall. Do you pay the damages? I'll do better than that. There's a $250 bonus if you bring her back on film. But if you don't, don't come back. Will you tell me how I can get in it? Is uh, Boss Kelly in town? Why, certainly he's in town. He's running for re-election next month, isn't he? Why? Just got an idea. Get me politician Kelly. Well, what happened? Well, nothing yet, but plenty's gonna. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Kelly. This is the Acme Portrait Company. Uh, your campaign committee wants us to make some new photographs of you for posters. That's right. We'll send a man out right away. Thanks. Goodbye. Now I see you're using your brains. 
You ain't seen nothing yet. You said it. I said what? You drive on McDuff. Oh, you're silly. I just said that. You know, I like you all right, but sometimes I think you're next to an idiot. I know that. I'll get in the back seat. The rumble. What are you talking about? Come here. Sit down. Let's stop the kid. Look, we've got to get those pictures somehow. I know that, but how? I don't know. Well, don't worry. Something will turn up. I hope so. Look, come on. Be a good scout. Let us in. Oh, come on, buddy. Have a heart. You don't have to let us all in. Just me. Orders is orders, and none of you are getting in. The guy is just no good. Why, well, he's got a heart of stone. You're telling me? stuff. All right. Good luck. Like this? Woo, woo, woo. Yes, that's it. I'll put it on again and show you. I look at your motor. Have you got any tools? Might be. I'll take a look. Oh, that's awfully sweet of you. <laughs> You're welcome. Try it again. Oh, you don't know what a help you've been. Ah, it was no trouble at all. Here's your tools. Thanks. You know, once upon a time, I had a garage. Mm -hmm. I had thousands of cars in my Well, it was awfully sweet of you. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, 
Oh, it's a beautiful place you have here, Mr. Kelly. A lovely view. Oh, but tell me, uh, who are all those chaps uh, down there at the gate? Well, they're just some new real men. Uh, oh, but you promised that there'd be no... Oh, but don't worry, Albert. They can't get in. The whole place is surrounded by guards. Oh, thank you. By the way, Duke, have you thought any more about that little stock proposition I was speaking to you about? Now, there's a chance for you to make a pretty big pile. Oh, uh, I'm afraid not. You see, uh, I won't be able to get a draft through my bank for another week. That's fine. A week will be plenty of time. I'll just put you down for uh, 25,000. Tw uh, tw tw 25? Uh, oh, it's yes, quite a tidy sum. Uh, it's very nice of you. Uh, thanks very much. Now, this is a proposition that you can't afford to miss. Uh, no, I, I should say not. I, I can see that. Uh, thanks again. Well, here's to our success. You'll thank me for letting you in on this proposition. Oh, yes, I, I'm sure I will. The Acme Poitre Company. Mr. Kelly, he is expecting me. Okay. Open up. Thank you. You're gonna get away with this, all right. How can I miss, my dear Alphonse? How's the spinach look? Like a truck garden. Let's get going. Here, I'll take that. Who let those cameramen in here? I did. They're going to take some pictures from our next political campaign. But, Father, why... Oh, come along, dear. Let's go beat them. Oh, well, let's set that box up now, just in case. All right. Make sure they don't mug you. Don't worry, they won't. Ah, Mr. Kelly? Yes. The Acme Poitre Company. Oh, yes. They told me that you'd be out. Uh, my daughter, Bess. Mademoiselle. Ah, oh, that gives me the great idea. Maybe we should include her, say, for the little family touch. I should say you will not. As you wish, Mademoiselle. And uh, now, Mr. Kelly, if you step right over there, please. Certainly. How'd I look, dear? Oh, you look fine, Dad. I think so myself. <laughs> Mademoiselle, would you please step over there? Thank you. Would you move a little bit to the left, please? Pardon, I mean to the right. You see, in my country, the automobiles, they go up the left side and down the right, like that. That is perfect.
Oh, the light, she changed. She no good there. Ah, that is fine. Ernie, quick with the camera before the light, she changed. Quick. Ah, that is fine, Mr. Kelly. Just a minute, Father. Now, better you keep out of this. I want my picture took. So sorry, but this setup, it is no good either. Well, what's the matter with it? It is the shadow. Seems to me if the sun were any brighter, it would roast him alive. Oh, Miss Kelly, it might seem that way to you, but the camera, it is very tricky. Yes, so I noticed. Just one more, and then we go. I think you're pretty clever, don't you? Father, call the guard. Who? Guard? You think I should? Oh, all right. Oh, Henry, Bill, John. Oh, have a heart. Hey, wait a minute. Of all the cheap, low, underhanded tricks I've ever seen, this is the top. Oh, I'm sorry, but the public wants pictures, and it's my job to get them. Aren't you the same man who tried to photograph me at the airport? You rang the bell that time. You grew those whiskers pretty rapidly, didn't you? Ah, another bullseye. Ring the bell once more, and you win a box of cigars. You think you're pretty funny, don't you? Oh. Well, now that we understand each other, why, how about me getting one nice shot? If you don't leave here at once, you're going to get a whole load of it. My, 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 what a cruel thought. What are you trying to do? Oh, I said, what is this? Throw these men out of here. Oh, no, wait a minute, 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 minute. talk this thing. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's no way to treat anybody. <laughs> I did. Better give me the pink slip, Collins. I guess I earned it. You sure did. Now, come in. Hello, Mr. Collins. Hi, Clay. Hello, Don. Hi, Don. Well, here it is. You want to see me too, Mr. Collins? I oh, know. I don't want to see you. Oh. Well, I'll be going in. Thank you. What's this? Nice work, Cliff. It was quick thinking on your part, sending down on ahead with the negatives. Uh, Cliff, I want your John Hancock on a new contract. Well, go ahead. i read it. I'm giving you that raise you've been annoying me for. But, uh... Ooh! What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I guess maybe he wants more money, Mr. Collins. Well, nothing doing. I'm going the limit there. Well, you heard him, Cliff. I guess you better sign it. Going to? Yes, certainly. Go ahead. What's stopping you? Well, I gotta go. Bye, Mr. Collins. Bye, Don. So long, Cliff. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Who, me? Yes, you.
Well, what's the answer? Well, you haven't asked me anything yet. Do I have to ask you? Oh, oh, you mean that... Yes, those pictures of Betty Kelly. Who got them? I did. You? Yeah. Well, why did you tell Collins I got them? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I think my brother's a pretty swell guy. Even though he is as stubborn as a mule. <laughs> Thanks, kid. I guess I won't be so stubborn from now on. How would you like to be my assistant during vacation? Your assistant? Oh, gee, that'd be great. Listen, I got an idea for a shot. Look, when we go to the airport, see, it's down like that, and the airplane's wild. <laughs> and then look, when you go up to the... Wait a minute, side. wait a minute, wait a minute. I said only during vacation. And here's your first check. You earned it. Oh, gee, thanks, Cliff. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing, only... You know, I'd give this check just to see the look on that Kelly girl's face when she sees those pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we got some work to do. Betty. Who is it? The Chronicle. They want to speak to America's newest movie queen. You know I don't want to talk to any newspapers. Shall I tell them you're indisposed? Of course I'm not indisposed. Do you think I look indisposed? Uh, oh, really, I don't know. What? Uh, uh, of course not. Certainly I'm not indisposed. She says she's not indisposed. Shall I tell them you don't care to talk to anyone now because you're in the mood to commit murder? Yes. No! Oh, go ahead and tell him anything you like. I don't care. Evening papers, Miss Kelly. Take them away. Yes, miss. Oh, come here. Uh, Let me yes, see them. Yes, miss. Betty Kelly photographed. Newsreel cameraman out with Aris. Aris in pictures. Oh, I wish I could get my hands on those cameramen. <laughs> oh, now don't get excited, darling. I am not excited. Oh, now, darling, come here now. Slow down, slow down. Are you really angry? Well, what do you think? Then why don't you do like I do when anyone bothers me? Buy out the concern and fire the two men who took the pictures. But how? I'll call up my attorney in the morning and have him give me a report on the financial condition of the General Newsreel Service. Oh, gee, Dad, you're a peach. We've investigated your financial conditions, Mr. Collins. And as Miss Kelly's attorney, I'd advise you to sell. Well? But I don't want to sell, Miss Kelly. I didn't want my pictures shown in every theater in town, either. Can't I recall the pictures? The damage is already done. There must be some other way. Only one. Accept my check for 51% of the business. It's the check or a lawsuit. Which do you prefer? As your attorneys have told you, if it goes to court, we'll win. I advise you to accept Miss Kelly's proposition. It's more than fair. All right, you'll win. Hey, where are you going? Come on and have a cup of java. Okay. Good morning, gentlemen. Hi, Edwards. Coffee. Me too. Make it three. Zach. 
Well, we got five minutes before we meet Boyd. Did you get in touch with him? Yeah, and he ain't taking no chances on any slip-up. He told me old man Kelly took him for 25 G's. Took him for 25 G's? I thought we were supposed to do the taking. Don't worry. We'll get it back. Yeah, I hope. Morning, Jean. Good morning, Mr. Cameraman. Did you come to take some pictures? No, oh, came to take something to eat. Why, I thought all cameramen lived on cellophane. What? I mean celluloid. Oh, they do. Come here, I've got a secret to tell you. I'm gonna dye it. What color? No kidding. What do you got to eat for a hungry man? How about some ham and eggs? Oh, French toast. No, none of those foreign dishes. Oh. Ooh. I've got it. Corned beef hash. Corned beef hash? With fried onions. No, I'm sorry. That doesn't appeal to me. Why not some love and kisses? Hey, that's not a bad idea. Thanks. Hey, how about that coffee? Coming right up, sir. Excuse me. You are listening to a program presented by the Golden Flakes Flower Company. Ladies, I don't have to tell you the way to a man's heart is through the stomach. In just a moment, I am going to tell you how to make the most delicious, crisp, golden brown waffles you ever tasted. Oh, goody, I can't wait. Please get your pencils and papers ready now. Hey, that's competition. We can't stand for that, can we? Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, are you ready to eat now? Sure, I was ready to eat when I came in here. Say, listen, did you know that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach? Really? Yep. So therefore, I'm going to have an order of the most delicious, crisp, golden brown waffle. Yeah, waffle. How much do I owe you, sister? Forty-five cents. Forty-five cents. Well, gee, somebody's got to pay the rent. Say, Collins, what are you doing here? Where's Collins? Mr. Dahl, will you please tell this person to be more respectful to his employer? Employer? Uh, Miss Kelly is purchase control of the general newsreel service. <laughs> yes, I believe that. And you're the queen of the May. Yes, quite right. Perhaps this agreement will convince Mr. Mallory that I'm not in the habit of making false statements. Uh, if you please, Mr. Mallory. Oh, I see. Going to build a career for yourself. Ask the gentleman if he has any objections. Have you any oh, objections? Oh, none at all. Do whatever you like. I'm quitting. Inform Mr. Mallory that I refuse to accept his resignation. The lady refuses to accept your resignation. What I say goes. I'm quitting. This contract calls for one Cliff Mallory to work exclusively for General Newsreel Service for the next three years. Tell him that I intend to enforce it. Uh, the lady intends Would to you enforce tell Miss Kelly for me that she seems to have a lot of courage and knows just what she wants. And that's a lot for a pretty girl. Oh, and you might also add that she has the cutest nose I ever saw. And her figure is uh, better than Venus tomorrow's. If I were planning to use that nose, which you call cute, on my hip line to get along with, I'd like you to notice them first. But I'm not. Will you advise the young lady that she surprises me? Uh, the gentleman says to advise the lady that you surprise him. I'll answer it. General Newsreel Service, 500 babies. Oh, what a family. Oh, how lovely, Mrs. Brady. Of course, we'll send a good cameraman. Oh, yes, he's very particular, especially about light and shadows. His name, Cliff Mallory. The Women's Club is sponsoring a baby parade at the beach this afternoon. Cover it. Oh, now, wait a minute. But There's nothing more to be said. Cover it. Five hundred babies. What a scoop.
boy, they're good. One more, please. Three's enough for anybody. Oh, but I'm hungry. I want another one. I said no. Listen, I'm a customer here, and I demand a little service. That's what you're getting, just a little service. Oh, please let me have another one. No. Pretty please? No. Well, pretty please with sugar. No. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty please? Pretty please the butter. Pretty please the butter. Thanks. Pretty please the syrup. Pretty please the syrup. Hey, what's the idea? You nearly hit me. Pretty, pretty, pretty please. please. Pretty please <laughs> donuts. Oh, donuts? Why, sir, more than that to give you donuts. Don, no. Donuts, catch up a dozen. Don't fail to get Don't. Pretty please the cookies. Oh, Don, huh? please stop. Oh, cookies, yes, sir. Cookies coming right up. That's the finest cookies you've ever tasted. <laughs> Pretty please. Pretty please the sugar. <laughs> Pretty please the ketchup. What? Ketchup. Yes, sir. Ketchup. Certainly we can oh, get no. anything we got. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty please the waffle. Yes, sir. We have fine waffles. No, you don't. The war is over. Now the mop-up detail goes into action. All right, all right. This place has to be cleaned up before Mother gets back. Well, they asked for service. I had to give it to them. Now you're going to give me a little service, just for a change. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Hold up at the State Bank. Fifth and Arrow. Bandits are now in the bank. Fifth and Arrow? That's right across the street. Boy, what a break. Don!
my lucky day. Mr. Collins, can you come in the projection room right away? I want to run this step for you. Is it important? Is it important? Oh, where do you see it? Sorry, Mr. Collins is busy. Oh, hello, Miss Kelly. Look, this is going to be the biggest scoop of the year, and we're the only ones that have got it. I'll be the judge of that. There'll be no more people humiliated by your scoops if I can help it. You leave that film here. Hey, what is this? Better do as Miss Kelly says, Don. Why? She's running things now. You mean she's the boss? That's right. Anyhow, the projectionist has gone to lunch. We'll run it later. But this stuff has got to be rushed out right away. Look, give me a break, Mr. Collins. Let me run it. I'm waiting for that film. Yeah, well, you're going to wait a long time. Having trouble going? And how? Mallory, you get out of here. Why aren't you at the baby parade? I was. I won first prize, and I'm back. What have you got there, Don? Listen, I've got some pictures of that state bank holdup. What? And she won't let me run them. She thinks that I've been annoying people that didn't want their pictures taken. She would. Come on, let's see what you've got. Cliff Mallory, you're fired. You can't fire me. I have a contract. Well, what are you standing there for? Why don't you do something? I, I intend to. Well, it's about time. Uh, sure. I'm going with them. Hey, wait for me, boys. Can you imagine that, kid? That's nice work. Not how. We've got something there. For the love of Mike, will you look at that? What do you want? Don! Don, come here! Do you see what I see? Yeah, but do you see what I see? The Earl. What are you talking about? What Earl? Betty Kelly's Earl. I thought that face looked familiar. Wait till that little spitfire gets a load of this. Boy, will we have the Indian sign on her. And by Gella, she's going to right now. Rewind that, will you, Don? Take it easy, she's the boss, you know. Oh, yeah? Well, it... It was nice working for you, Mr. Collins. I don't think we're going to be here very long. I want to show you something that will open your eyes. I've been looking over your contract, Mr. Miller. I know it by heart. I want you to come to the projection room. And I'm firing you. Clause 43 Never says... mind what it says. I resign. But you're coming to the projection room. I'm not interested. That's what you think. I tell you, I'm busy. And I said you're coming to the projection room. And I said I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, stop it. Stop. I'm getting dizzy. Getting dizzy? You've been dizzy for years. Oh, please. Please stop. Coming? No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> oh, put me down, you... The you... cad, ruffian, lunatic. Anything else? Yes, this. Oh, so you want to play rough, huh? Well, if I have to change it. Oh, put me down. Down you go. Stay there. I won't, I won't, I won't. Yes, you will. <laughs> All set? Let it go. I won't stay here. You can't make me stay. No, I can't, eh? All right, you big bully. You can keep me here, but you can't make me look. Oh, I can't, huh? <laughs> All right, but I still won't look. Listen, you. You've always been a spoiled brat, but this is one time you're not going to get away with it. Out! Well, do you recognize him? Why? Why, it's Albert. That's just what I've been trying to tell you, you stubborn little fool. The police should see this film right away. Maybe, but they're not going to. Albert! I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm particular who sees my pictures. Bob, get that film from the projection booth.
Stay where you are. Take care of them, Charlie. No, get back. Bob, turn on those lights, quick. Watch him, Charlie. Bob, get those lights on. Uh, I can't. I can't see. you want? Aren't you going to let me use the big camera? There you go again. Always wanting to do something somebody else does. Well, didn't you tell me I had to learn how to use a regular camera? Well, that contract makes you general manager. I'm sorry. 
puts Netta. Want more money? No. Well, what is it then? Miss Kelly, there's only one way I'll have a woman for my boss. And what's that? Marry her. Well, I think that should be easily settled. Here's where you sign. Here's where I sign. Don. Don. What? Look. I'm looking. There you go again. Always doing what somebody else does. 